Uh, hi everyone, so thanks very much for tuning in. I'm Tim here at Digital Llama and yeah, today going to be playing some MTG Arena since it's been updated. I know I said there wouldn't be Arena content on the channel, but I thought this was too cool to pass up. So it's been opened to open beta so anyone can play. And yeah, got tons of packs to crack and we'll see sort of how we're doing on time to see what kind of games uh, can fit in depending on what I actually open, whether it will be fun or not. So yeah, got uh, that going on. Uh, remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, videos are out every Thursday and Sunday, so if you want uh, more magic content coming through your tube twice a week, uh, then yeah. Hit that subscribe button. Also, you'll see above me, just up there, or over there maybe, a little logo of Arcane Cards. They're the channel sponsor. Um, so yeah, they sell MTG singles, sealed product. There's a link down in the description below to their um, web store. And there's also a discount code that will get you 10% off your first order. So definitely go and have a look at those guys. Uh, they got some really cool stuff, um, guilds um, obviously coming out, and yeah, some lovely looking masterpieces as well, invocations and uh, inventions and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, without further ado then, let's have a look. So all of the uh, gameplay modes are locked down at the moment, we have to complete this quest and play a game uh, to unlock that, but what we're going to do is delve into packs. Uh, so I bought, there was a $5 welcome pack that got you some gems and stuff like that um, previously. So uh, that's where those gems have come from. So we get to open some core sets and some guilds of Ravnica, it looks like. So let's see what we got in here. So we got a common wild card, uncommon wild card, and a detection tower, is that rare? Not that. Anything exciting going on in here? Cool, so we just got ourselves another uncommon wild card off the little generator up there and a chaos wand. Cool, so uh, yeah, getting the common wild cards in. Desecrated tomb. Two more packs to go. Anything exciting going to be coming out. Bruni Karmasaur, nice, love that card. It's really cool. 253 is great, and um, yeah, you get to draw a card uh, when it's the abilities. Oh, and we've got a rare world card as well. And a Magistrate Scepter, so we've got a wand and a scepter. Let's open some grills of Ravnica now. This is going to be super exciting. So, we've got a Spinal Centipede. Rosemain Centaur, that looks really nice, that artwork. Slesnia Locket, Elite Frog, Guild Gate, we've got an Uncommon Wild Card, Glowspore Shaman, and Resin Knight of Autumn, awesome! So, yeah, this is kind of the replacement Krizali Pride Mage. Uh, so, yeah, very um, Slesnia pack. Let's go on to pack number two. Uh, Muse Drake, Watcher in the Mist, Ornery Goblin, we've got a Deadly Visit, Common Wild Card, Uncommons are a House Guild Mage, and a Sprouting Renewal, and the rare is an Experimental Frenzy. Uh, so you can look at the top card, you can play it, you can't play cards from your hand, that's pretty experimental. <laughs> Um, so yeah, final pack then to open. I would have thought that I would have had a lot more. Just got another uncommon wild card. Uh, anything particularly exciting here? Discovery to dispersal. And where is an Etrata? Awesome! Love this card so much. Really, really cool. And is in my um, Yuriko um, Tiger Shadow EDH deck that I just put out on Thursday. So if you haven't seen that, then uh, I don't know which direction I'm pointing, but a bit of Saturday Night Fever. Um, there'll be a card up in the top for you to click on to go and have a look at that. Okay, cool. So that's that. That's cracked. And 
let's go to the home. Ready? And but play first, this. So need we need to select deck. deck. And what is going to be the best out of all of these? Let's you go can change your deck before assault. each game. Alright, let's play. Okay, so is this playing AI or is this playing against someone else? So I'm just. Yeah, this is just the deck that they gave us. So yeah, good attack for myself because it's pretty glowy and potent, so probably gonna be a tough ask. Yeah, that looks insane. So where's my choice to mulligan and stuff? Ooh. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, like the new background. That's awesome, with all of the guilds around it. Yeah, I like that a lot. Um, so yeah, those are still in there. So Jace playing red. Nothing else to do, so I have a feeling that this game is probably going to be a little bit um, slow and one sided. Um, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. And um, yeah, just love this sort of the little bit of city around the gargoyles, the crow sitting on the gargoyle's head. Love it, this is fantastic. Uh, so, still don't have anything to do. Next turn, we can get down the Pegasus Forza. Turn after that if we draw a land, Star Crown Stag. Yeah. Seems to be going rather slowly. Um, no, didn't draw another land. Still got a turn to keep on go. So three mana and they still haven't played anything for a red deck. That is slightly odd. Let's see what comes our way this time. Oh, it's four mana. Now we go with we would trample. Okay. So we can destroy it. Um, so yeah, let's just keep going to combat. So this might be a uh, pre-con deck as well, potentially, it might have matched us up. Um, like that. Okay, so now we're in a bit of a pickle because I kind of want to destroy that 4-3. Um, but I do want to get more creeps down. Actually, yeah, let's do that. Let's take out that Hammer Devil. We'll hold the Pegasus Corsa back to uh, Chump Lock and trade with the Pilgrim. Although tactical advantage actually, so uh, let's pass the turn. Yeah, so that would be good. And then, yeah, we can then start getting off the ground a bit. Uh, War Leader, Starkland Stag, um, got quite a few expensive spells in here. Uh, Angelic Rewards, quite a big payoff though, if we could get. Um, that onto the war leader, 775, yeah, two cats. That'd be awesome. Oh, Trample and 
Ah, isso. So, there's the block there. I think. Do that, so trade. I take. Uh, no, sorry. His dies. Mine's five. I take five. Okay, we have been traded in the end anyway. <laughs> so up to five now, and okay, let's play this down. It's got trample, hasn't that? So two is still going to get through. <laughs> Fair play. Too helpful in this situation, I don't think. Have uh, another four two. That's the first game, and there's nothing more that I have to do to unlock the rest of the game. Uh, so rank is beginner. <laughs> Seems strange having everything reset after the um, pro So I got some coin. Ooh, more quests! You'll get another one every day. Cheers, little blue thing. There's That's extra rewards for daily and weekly wins too. Golly, there's just so much to look forward to. Complete your current quest. I just completed that quest. This is crazy. Okay, so that's not going down too well, but we got some gems. So what we're going to do is head into the store and purchase some packs. So we want guilds, for definite. And we got 2,500. So that is that lot and that lot. So we're going to open up 12 packs of Guilds of Ravnica, because why not? So, what we'll do is we'll slow roll them. There is an option to open multiples. Hey, hey boss challenger, lovely stuff. That's fantastic. Um, oh, that's a good point. We have it into... Oh yeah, I didn't even check what the... There was, let's go into... Collection. I should have some planeswalkers. So if we select mythic, oh. so yeah, got these. Um, I thought that they were meant to be full art versions. Um, who knows? Or maybe they're just sort of yeah, different artworks. Obviously. Um, but yeah, I thought that we were going to get sort of really lovely looking full art ones. Oh well, and I got a Mythic World card. Right, let's head back into... Open some more of these packs. Uh, anything fun here? Um, nothing too crazy. And that is a Bounty of Might. Awesome. So yes, yeah, six mana. Something gets plus nine, plus nine, or three creatures get plus three, plus three, or any iteration thereof. Uh, boss Guild Gates, nice. Rare wild card just fired off as well. And this is a Beast Whisperer, awesome. Whenever you cast a creature spell, you draw a card. Anything going on here? Night Veil Predator. Really like that. Conclave Guild Mage. 
And an Iron Eyes counter target spell deals 2 damage to their controller. Burglar Rat. <laughs> really funny card. Uh, two wild cards in here as well. And a Tajik. Awesome. Oh, that's made my evening. That is lovely stuff. So yeah, 3-2. Haste. Mentor. Uh, prevent all non-combat damage that would be dealt to other creatures you control. And for a Boros, it gets first strike until end of turn. It's fantastic. Um, yeah, brilliant stuff. My mate um, Brett over at Kitchen Table Commander, some of you may or may not be familiar with him, just did a deck tech uh, with Tajik as the commander. And if I can, I'll link to the video in a corner. But if I can't, I'll link to his channel in a corner. So yeah, definitely worth checking that out. Right. Um, Chamber Sentry. Not 100% familiar with this one. So it's got a Wooburg activated ability. We'll turn it from graveyard to hand. And oh yeah, it comes in. It's like a Chroma kind of one. Not a Chroma, but a Chroma. <laughs> Um, what's going on here? Erratic Cyclops. Zero eight trample whenever you cast sorcery spells. It's a bit of a power boost. Um, Ocran Assassin. We've got a Flower Flourish. And an Overgrown Tomb. Amazing. Ah, that is so cool. Uh, Legion Guild Mage. Oh, and a Mythic. Mythic Wild Card. Uh, another Chamber Sentry. That's a bit disappointing. Okay. Hypo, hypo for the Sizzle. <laughs> uh, response and Resurgence. So deal 5 damage to target attacking or blocking creature. And then at sorcery speed for five, uh, creature control gain first strike and vigilance, and you get an extra combat step. Love it. Aurelius does love the extra combat steps. Conclave Tribunal, absolutely amazing art from Seven Kinnon on that. Uh, haven't seen the uh, friendly Indrich, uh, what's that card called? Uh, Bounty of Might again. Fair enough. Lots and lots of green cards being opened. Not complaining, but yeah. Um, finally, we've got a Runaway Steam uh, Steamkin, and this card looks really fun. Two mana, 1-1. One, one. Whenever you cast a red spell, if it has fewer than three counters, on, uh, plus one, plus ones on it, you put a plus one, plus one counter on it, and you can remove three, and we get some mana, so that is really good for red. So that's all of the packs uh, there, so what shall we do? Should we have a look at some decks? So yeah, I've got to try and complete these good old uh, quests before I can actually do anything. So we want to be casting blue, black and red spells. Um, so we probably want to build some kind of blue, black and red deck. Uh, so here we go, let's filter it out. Blue, black, red. Don't particularly want to be using up any of my cards um, to um, build this. Just want to sort of use the cards that are already in here. What can we. Blue, black, and red. So it could be. Grixis Pirates, if they've given us any of that kind of thing in here. Um, yeah, it's a little bit tricky, sort of, with a very small collection trying to figure out what to actually uh, build. Or do we just do sort of like a. Let's just do this and maybe go for a Demir deck. That might be quite fun. Uh, see if we can get surveilling going on. So let's whack that into there. That's a bit of a neat little combat trick. Any surveil going here? Demir informant. Uh, 
Um, so there's a jump start. And uh, nothing else going on. Nope, now we're into the black. So. Oh, got two death barons already. That's pretty cool. I like the look of that. Uh, we've got murder in here, so we could put in three of those. Anything else? Yeah, so what I'll do, I think, is I'll play around with this deck, uh, build something, or even just go through, complete all the quests, and I'll come straight back to you. Hopefully we'll have opened up um, all of the modes, and we've made the place in a single turn. So yeah, uh, for me, catch you in a while. For you, catch you in a second. Okay, so I've managed to unlock all of the... Um, like different types of vents and stuff like that and built a really really awful uh, Demir deck um, that had loads of singles and things, didn't want to use any of my wild cards on just like a deck that wasn't really going to play much and yeah gonna do some single turn I've built a more stack. To play in events. Need to earn more gold to play in events? Oh, I'm not sure about that. So yeah, I built a ball of stack. Surprise, surprise. You'll need to earn more gold to play in events. Uh, so the little ball that uh, was telling me I need to earn more gold. Um, but this is something that I can play, so we'll just go ahead and see what happens. Um, not holding out much hope for the deck. I just selected all of the ball of cards. Um, ran out of gold. Uh, Rare wild cards though, uh, so I didn't manage to get a sacred foundry. Uh, two lands, uh, three drop, three drop. Yeah, not so sure. They're going first though, so I might risk it. Um, so yeah, like I said, just a lot of boss, uh, good stuff going on in here. Think, but this is definitely going to be a format that I can get behind, so you never know, there might be the Wiener Potter coming back to the channel. Um, I might do it as an alternating, something that I've been thinking of because uh, I did a live stream last weekend and let's get that down. Um, really enjoyed doing the live stream and had some really great feedback. Um, from it, so it's something that I might work on in internet, sort of like on a Tuesday night or something, between general live streaming um, and doing a email basically to work out how much time I actually have once I manage to find a new job to reduce my hours to focus on me and stuff. Yeah, exciting times. So we're up against uh, Green Black, so maybe they're going for a bit of an undergrowth deck or something like that. Okay, so lay that down. Do we want Bodyguard? Can't tackle block alone. Or do we start swinging in? in yeah. yeah, let's start doing that. There we go, and yeah, we'll probably take three or four damage out on the back swing, but I can look at that, I think. <laughs> so, yeah, let me know what you think about the stream setup. Uh, not stream setup, but the setup. Obviously, it's not quite a thing. Probably do some nice bits with like wooden background, like my deck tech videos and channel art. Oh, that's not very nice, is it? I just saw what happened there. It's fine in the game, when the buys again too life. Um, don't want to do that or that one. Um, it's a 4 3 sort of trade. Or, yeah, let's go for. Hold one 
come back. Got to attack in there like that. Cool, so that's alright. And yeah, still got a chomp block off that centaur. stuff. Uh, so they get to ramp out a whole load more lands, um, but for the time being the coast is clear. Uh, so yeah, true card back to the next. Uh, yeah, because then that can mentor the challenge next to them. I've only got one card in hand as well, so this is the quite quick. Oh, and they've passed the turn. Okay, so what way round do we want to do it? We want to go with that one first. So then we get the mentor trigger onto the challenger. Oh, whenever it attacks. Okay, oh yeah, so yeah, that's not how it works then, sorry. I don't want to use the mechanic for some reason, I was thinking of something that would be different. Um, so yeah, that's quite an impressive boss board state. There we go, now it meant to us, that's how it works. <laughs> oh, nice little boss animation there, I like it. Target non land permanent and controls into the cage. So I think we're going to do that, and it is GG's. Perhaps they've got anything funky to say or do. That looks like that's it. Yeah, that's a good game. Old mentoring circle of love, I think. Just waiting for him to pass. Nice. Yeah, so I think with a bit of tweaking, a few more uh, mythic and rare. <laughs> Fair play, mate. Fair play. So, 1-0 in my first singleton of this standard format. That's you pretty exciting stuff. Um, so yeah, let's quickly start blasting through this actually. 
might be quite a long video, but this will be quite interesting to see how far uh, the Legion can take me on the first turn. Against Sword Pogo. Okay, so that is a bad hand indeed. Oh, what we got for at all? Let's just mulligan that. Yay, we've got the runaway still with the steam can in here, so we can keep that. And we've already got all the land we need at the moment. So, playing against the right there. He's got a fine life link. Am I going second colour or is it just mono white? At least neither of them have been rat decks. Rat decks seem to be fairly prevalent uh, from what I've seen on Twitter. Oh, what happened? Oh, did they not mean to pass? Um, what's the back cross in there? There we go, let's see how quickly the steam then builds up uh, to give us a boost in mana. Without flying, gains flying. Cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to put down the guild gate and just hang tight for a second. I'm um, hoping something will pop up soon. This is looking a little bit weak on my part. Breaking the bank. Um, so let's get that down. Hey, we get a plus one, plus one counter finally. Abilities. Okay, so let's go this now. Can't block. Okay, so. Okay, so there we go, 2-0, fantastic stuff. 
can't believe it. And yeah. You need to earn more gold to play. Yeah, stop events. telling me that, you little like glowy ball. Um, another hundred coins. So we've now got one card that will be at least an uncommon. Uh, yeah, it's been a long, long day at work today. Um, had delivery in and all sorts. Um, yeah, and then come home. Um, got a bit of uni work to do. Got some lectures to add uh, tutorials and things to put in for um, later on, which will be uh, quite fun to see what kind of topics are going to come up. And then yeah, next Saturday is my first actual lecture, which I'm really, really excited about. Uh, hammer Dropper, so we've got a 4 drop, Hammer Time, uh, Conclave Tribunal, but we don't have anything to play in the meantime, so we're going to Mulligan, and we've only got one land, but we've got some better creatures, so let's hope that we get a land on our scry. It's a mountain, so it's not ideal. So we're going to put that to the bottom even though it might not be a guaranteed land. That's a tough call. Might have spoiled the uh, unbroken streak there. <laughs> of two. Streak of two. Still counts. Yep, yeah, and I've got nothing. Damn. Oh, well, next turn. Let this back to. Nope, still nothing. Uh, so, if I don't get land next turn, I'm discarding something. That giant. Let him go to six mana of this eight. And he's hit all of his land drops. And it's still not. Oh, my days. This is horrible. So what's that? Four turns and haven't drawn the land. I don't believe it. Non-creature, non-land. So the locket. Go for it, buddy. I don't have to discard as much, I guess. <laughs> um, I'm being forced to do it anyway. Hey, it's land, finally! Cool, 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 cool. Right, so what do we want to get down first? Let's go for the raptor. He hasn't started gaining life though on the Pride Mate. Yeah, there we go. There's something block in there. And it's still not a land, so. Gaining any more life and going crazy. Uh, still going to take three from the swing from the Sanctum Seeker. Oh, yeah, that is um, GG's for sure. Oh well. Knew it couldn't last forever. <laughs> Fraud of 20 minutes. Ice didn't even actually deal me damage, it was just through trigger damage. Cool, cool, cool. Right, let's. You need to earn more gold to play in events. Oh, 
<clears throat> right, who am I going to come up against now? There's a lot of waiting time actually, I've noticed. Um, it always used to be a lot quicker when they're getting that choice uh, in close. Oh, a Johnny one on Johnny action. It's in your shield. That looks a lot better. Hello, uh, mountain. Oh, the defender and gives him a spell. Cool. I love the little Demir. Um, logo hovering above the library when you surveil. That was rad. Right, and here we go. So, 2-2 two, two first strike up. Into a Wojak by the guard. Feel pretty bad, nice. So we get the mental trigger to uh, turn the stalwart into a 3 3 before swinging in. As it swings in, I guess. So it's really black. Oh, murder. Fair enough. Bounty Adrian, so 2-2, two, two, Vigilant, you tap it and sack it, destroy target, legendary permanent. Um, yeah. Um, don't really want to use that up now, so yeah, let's just get that on the board. Uh, he has got first strike, so could just block it with a ball though and it would be a bit pointless. So, yeah, pass it back. Typical blue. Let's just draw some cards. Oh, yay, Relentless Raptor. That's tidy. And pass turn back to the next. Okay, so that's quite big. That might be a just strike target, potentially. Uh, yeah, it's got equal power and toughness, so why not? Nice, and yeah, both of those will keep the bounty agent back. Um, what does this do again? 5 damage to target attacking or blocking creature. And I've got my creature's first strike of vigilance and get a second attack phase. Okay. So I might be uh, caged on my next turn. Can't have that running around flying at me. Is it legendary? No, it's just an ordinary sphinx. Let's uh, turn back. <laughs> Air elemental? Yeah, I think that was the only other creature that, uh, that was in the graveyard. Okay, now we're cooking, we've got another planes. Um, uh, 
Yeah, so let's go to combat. Let's attack. Let's attack with these two. Mental trigger. Oh, he's ganging up. Uh, so yeah, we want to deal with Drapic first. Give him a first strike. Ranking damage and all worked out lovely. Oh, and they've run off now. Okay, cool. Um. Yeah, it would have been nice to see that through, but obviously they, they thought that they couldn't go any further. So they won't earn lots events. of gold through all of this. And three wins, one loss. So uh, guaranteed to be at least a rare now. So this is crazy. Sorry this is such a long video. I forgot that it was kind of like a running tournament thing like this rather than a best of three. Uh, hopefully you guys don't mind and hopefully I've been able to actually stitch all of this together to make some semblance of a, um, a video. And three lands, fresh face recruit. And as long as it's your turn, it has a uh, first strike. Got some burn. Turn three, turn five. Yeah, we will keep this and see where it takes us. Sorry, our opponent's just choosing their mulligan. Hmm. Handy thing about having a beard, you know? You get to stroke it and like, hmm. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> um, so it's quite late. Heading on, so it's about quarter to ten now that I'm uh, on tonight that I'm recording this. Friday night. Um, lots of things in the to be released tonight. I uh, hope, speaking of previous, I hope everyone that went uh, did really, really well. Got some later. Fresh face fruit. He has got a bit of a baby chin, to be fair. He's just kind of stroking the sword there as well. Oh, what's that? Resplendent. So three, three. At the beginning of each end step, if you gained a load of life, and you pay a load for that other business to happen. So I think we're just going to have to strike it down. Strike it down. Um, two damage in there. Um, yeah, what was it? Oh no, yeah, we'll not revisit the uh, sword striking. Uh, he's got a fresh faced recruit too. Awesome. Um, get that down. Let's get the mentor. Start mentoring the fresh faced recruit. Um, and yeah, let's attack him because he's got first strike. Boom. Uh, so next turn is Lyra turn. Um, that's pretty cool. Although well, that's got haste and mentor, so I could just go crazy on like mentor and triggers. But, hmm, that's tough. Yeah, let's give that one a whirl. See how they deal with that little uh, battalion coming at them. Um, and they're not dealing with that. Fair play. They're going to make me play all five games, aren't they? Not that I mind playing Magic, I'm just concerned about you guys having to 
watch all of this. I know I'm not in a overly talkative mood this evening. Uh, not that I'm not in the mood, just <laughs> um, just you know. Been a long week. Still got a day left in work as well. I work on Saturdays most weeks. Um, the life that is retail. Okay, so can't do anything about the war leader really. So let's pop that down. And yeah, we'll attack with those two. Italian trigger. Cool, cool, cool. Next turn might be in the bag. Oh, and he's just gone off rather than uh, facing the inevitable. Would be nice to say good game to people um, before they disappear. You need to earn more gold to play an event. Awesome. So this is it. So fantastic. You guys don't need to sit through anything else. So we've got a common and a pack so far. All that must have come from somewhere else. It's not part of this. Oh, okay. Um, so we've got an icy manipulator and a lich's mastery. Cool. Oh, fab, there we go. So, yeah, that was the end of the whole lot. So, uh, we'll just leave it there, guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I know it's been long and possibly arduous for you guys to uh, watch, but uh, yeah, cheers for bearing with. Uh, let me know down in the comments below uh, how you're finding uh, Guilds of Ravnica if you've been playing it on Arena and how you did in your pre-release weekend. I uh, would really love to know. Uh, so as always, don't forget to uh, like the video, drop a comment, um, share the video around. And please don't forget about my sponsor, Arcane Cards. Uh, like I say, website link is in the description below. 10% off your first order. Why not? Catch you all soon. Cheers.